Mr. Secretary, as the transcript, the leaked transcript, as you referred to it, says, uh, did the, the President Biden work with the coward exiled President of Afghanistan to manipulate the intelligence about the Taliban? What the President said to President, uh, then President Ghani uh, in, in private is exactly what he said in public, that the issue was not whether Afghanistan had the capacity uh, to withstand the, the Taliban. It's whether it had the will and the plan to do so. He He's urged him. The transcript was uh, a lie. That it's, it's, have false. That, uh, plan. it's incorrect. And, he did not and work. to bring people together You're in saying unity. it's false, it's a lie, it's incorrect. He did not work to tamp down the intelligence on the Taliban. Absolutely not. So the transcript is incorrect. That's your testimony uh, today. The, the, the intelligence uh, that uh, we had, we've already discussed at some, at some length about what the assessments were. Uh, of the Taliban and its capacity to uh, to take over the country. I think that everybody looking for an explanation about what happened and how everybody got it so wrong, how your administration got it so wrong, uh, needs to look at that as the most likely explanation, asking the president to manipulate the intelligence of what was actually going on with the Taliban. And I'm going to tell you the 13 families that deserve most to really hear the honest answers on that. It's these families. Marine Lance Corporal Kareem Nakui. His family deserves to truly know that. Marines Corporal, Marine Corporal Dagan Page, his family truly deserves to know if that's why uh, they are missing their son because intelligence was manipulated. Marine Lance Corporal Riley McCollum, 20, wife expecting their first child, sister said he was going to be the best dad ever. They deserve to know if that's what happened and that's why everything went so wrong. Marine Sergeant, Marine Sergeant Nicole Gee, 23 years old. You can see her there holding a young child. Her family deserves to know if that's why everything went so wrong, because that intelligence was manipulated. Marine Lads Corporal David Espinoza, just 20 years old. Family deserves to know if that's why everything went so wrong is because the intelligence was manipulated. Marine Corporal Humberto Sanchez, just 22 years old. Mother said, my kid was a hero. That's what was said. That's what her, his mother said. Deserves to know if that's why everything went so wrong, because the intelligence got manipulated. Marine, Marine Lance Corporal Jared Smith, just 20 years old. Family deserves to know if that's why everything went so wrong. Marine Corporal Hunter Lopez, just 22, son of two sheriffs, planned to follow in their footsteps. Their family deserves to know if that's why everything went so wrong, is because you all worked to manipulate the intelligence of what was going on on the ground there. Marine Corps Staff Sergeant Darren Hoover, his, his family said, I love you, son. Check in on us. We will try to make you proud. They deserve to know if that's what happened, if that's how, if that's how everything went so wrong in Afghanistan. Marine Corps Sergeant Johanny Rosario Picardo, family deserves to know if that's why everything went so wrong, because you all worked to manipulate the intelligence of what was going on with the Taliban. Marine Lance Corporal Dylan Marola, just 20. Family said he always had a smile on his face, was the kindest person. They deserve to know if that's why everything went so wrong, because you all manipulated intelligence. Army Staff Sergeant Ryan Knauss, the ultimate honor he could give was to give back to his country. He would not be sorry. He would not regret it. That's what his family said. They deserve to know if you manipulated intelligence, if President Biden manipulated intelligence, and that's what led to everything going so wrong. Navy Corpsman Maxton Soviak, just 22. His family deserves to know if that's why everything went so wrong. We deserve hearings on what's going on with that leaked transcript. We deserve to know why there are others that remain in Afghanistan. Mark Frerichs, Navy veteran, disappeared in Coast Province January 30 of, of 2020. We deserve to know, know what's going on with his relief. These are things that have to be answered for. I do not believe whatsoever what you're saying about the administration not working to manipulate that intelligence. To me, that is the most logical, the most logical explanation of how so many in the intelligence community got this so wrong about what was going to happen in Afghanistan. Why it would seem somehow logical for President Biden to leave the, quote, most advanced military weaponry. Why, why some would not speak out against that if they were getting the false intelligence because it was coming from the top down to manipulate it. In my opinion, that's absolutely aid and comfort to the enemy. I absolutely wonder if you were complicit in this as well. I find it hard to believe that President Biden would do that without you being aware of this. And these are things that we deserve to know better answers, have better hearings on this. I do not believe a word that you're saying on this.